Grizzul is a strength-based tank class hero from the Greyborn faction who specializes in tanking but also dealing damage. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at his skills and abilities, his teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. For his ultimate ability, Reanimate, Grizzul is going to summon a gravestone behind his target enemy that's going to deal AoE damage, but also summon up to two skeleton warriors that are going to fight by his side. Now, these skeleton warriors are going to share Grizzul's level but will gradually lose health over time. Next up, we have Demonic Assault, where Grizzul is going to attack the enemy in front of him three times, dealing damage but also stealing their power. Now, the enemy that he steals the power from is going to have their damage output reduced by 50%, and they're also going to receive 25% extra damage. And this is going to persist until either Grizzul or that enemy dies, or until Grizzul uses this ability on another enemy. On top of that, when stealing the enemy's power, Grizzul's attack rating is also going to increase by 75% of the enemy's attack power. Then we have a shadow shield. For this one, Grizzul is going to put a shield on his furthest forward ally, protecting them from damage. Now, if this shield breaks, it's going to deal AoE damage to the enemies, but also reduce their energy by 100 points. And then we have his passive ability, Deathly Protection. For this one, allies to Grizzul are going to take 20% less damage from intelligence-based enemies, and Graveborn allies are going to take an additional 15% less damage than that. Then we have his signature item. For this one, Grizzul is going to summon a skeleton warrior every 9 seconds behind the enemy closest to the edge of the battlefield. Now at level 30, this is going to reduce that cooldown to 7.5 seconds. And for upgrades 10 and 20, he's also going to regain a percentage of his max health every time a skeleton warrior dies. And finally, we have his furniture, Shadow Strike. At level 3, his Shadow Shield is increased by 150%, and the shield doesn't have to be destroyed to explode. If its time expires, it will also explode, dealing that AoE damage and reducing enemies' energy. And at level 9, all Skeleton Warriors that are summoned by Grizzul will gain the benefits of a Shadow Shield when they are summoned. So from Grizzul's skill set, we can see that he can tank fairly well. The use of Skeletons to distract the enemy and take damage away from Grizzul is incredibly effective, also supporting his whole team. But his damage comes from his nine furniture. The fact that he can summon so many skeleton warriors and they all get that shield when they are summoned and that shield will then explode when it expires or when it breaks, they're going to deal a lot of AoE damage to the enemy team, also giving Grizzul some good sustain when those skeleton warriors do die. Now, Grizzul's biggest vulnerability is early damage. He wants to ramp up and get his skeletons on board to start building momentum. This makes Ulna the perfect teammate for him. Ulna can protect him for the first nine seconds of battle, allowing him to start producing skeleton warriors. And these two make up an incredibly solid team core that you can use just about anything in the back row and achieve victories with. If you want a closer look, we do have this team example in our Ulna video. However, because Ulna is a bit harder to build being that she is a celestial hero, we're going to take a look at another team that can function not quite as well, but still effectively while you're still summoning for Ulna. So the team we're going to look at for this example is going to be Mishka, Gorvo, Grizzul, Silas, and Pharrell. So for this team, Grizzul is going to start in the back row to avoid the early damage in the battle. Mishka can tank some early damage, but also her ultimate is an incredibly strong AoE CC ability. Now with this one, if her wolves do happen to die incredibly early, she will be able to ult really fast in the battle and get that CC off incredibly early. Then we have Gorvo. Gorvo is there to invade the enemy side of the battlefield and steal the attention off of Mishka and Grizzul as quick as possible. Then we have Silas. Silas is here to bring healing to the team, but also to give an ally that invincibility if they are getting low with his ultimate ability. And then finally, we have Pharrell. Pharrell is just a very balanced hero to place in this team. He provides some CC, a little bit of damage, but also some really nice added debuff effects of healing reduction and energy reduction. So as we can see this team function, Grizzul avoids that early damage, which is incredibly vital. We have the early stun from Gorvo shell-shocking down onto the enemy team, Pharrell applying those fears, further contributing to the CC and reducing the damage our team will take. We have some heals rolling from the Silas. Then as Mishka gets her energy up, she is going to ult 
extending that CC that we already have on the enemy team. And by this time, Grizzul has his skeleton army out, which is going to be our way to victory. Now, keep in mind, this is just one example of a team. Ulna is still the best option to put in the front row with Grizzul, but you can definitely mix around with different heroes with Grizzul, depending on the enemy team to achieve victory. As for artifacts for Grizzul, the two main options are going to be the Waistband of Resilience when he needs to be a bit more tanky, and then Jura's Eye when you're going more offensive. Now, with all that out of the way, how far do you want to invest into Grizzul? He's the kind of guy you really want to max out. For his Sing Tri, Item, 30 is where you want to get to because he is one of the top carries in the game currently investing him up to 30 is really nice he can get away with 20 but having that faster skeleton production at level 30 sing tritum is a big assistance as for his furniture level 9 is where you want to get to having his skeletons gain the benefit of the shield is going to massively increase his damage potential because when those shields explode on the skeletons it's going to deal that extra damage so that is going to be it for Grizzul, a tank who is also an incredible damage dealer in the end game of AFK Arena. Thanks for watching guys, hope you have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.